Hey, Sam. Okay, I hope this is working. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to show you what I do for taping every day. Um, I have this tape called um, Mueller Sports Tape. I think I threw away all of my boxes, but you can get it at Walgreens for like um, anywhere from $8.99 to $10.99 a box. It comes with 20 pre-cut strips, and I really wish they weren't pre-cut because I have to cut it a certain way to get the most use out of all of them, otherwise I waste a lot. Um, so my taping is done in three pieces. I'll show you how I cut it too. What I do is I fold it in half and then I'm going to cut a little bit more than half. Um, but you have to cut around in a circular edge type pattern. So and that's my big piece. And then this one, I have to cut off those edges, so I round them out like this. And then my smaller piece is going to be made of two thinner pieces, so I can do this one in half, rounding out the edges. And then I cut this in half. I don't know if you can hear my mom practicing. Um, all right, so for one of the pieces, um, this is the one that's going to go on my pinky. I have to cut a hole for my pinky out of one of them. So I okay, fold over a little bit of this, and then I cut a hole in the middle. So then it's like this. And for this piece, this one's going to be the one to stabilize my ring finger. So I'm going to fold it in half, round off the edge of one side, and then cut down the middle until about here, and then leave the rest of that connected. So this one looks like this. You can see it's connected down there. Now for my big piece, uh, let's see. I'm going to do the same thing I did with this first, where I fold it in half and then cut down most of the way. Round off the edge. Cut a lot of that one by accident. Um, and then cut down here until about there. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did with this one and cut a hole in each of these because these are going to go around my ring and middle fingers. You kind of have to experiment with like how big you make the holes and how you cut them so that the um, the pieces around the edge like aren't too thin and flimsy, otherwise it won't really stay on your hand very well. It'll also be harder to put on. Okay, so when I apply it, it actually, I think they can go in any order, um, but I like to put this one on last because then it covers the smaller pieces so they don't come off as easily. Um, I've been doing this one first lately. Let's see. I've got to make sure that you can see this. You tear off the bottom piece, the piece that's connected, and peel off this hair. And then you're going to stick this end piece, I'll stick it around here on my wrist, and then you rub it to get the glue to adhere better to your skin. So I have this connected right now, and these two are going to stretch down over my ring finger. Um, so take off one side, and then when I do this, I have to make sure that my tendon is defined correctly over my ring finger. So you can see, got to make sure it's coming over to the pinky side. 
before I tape it. Um, bend the wrist a little bit so that you get enough flexion. And then you can extend the finger. And then I pull the tape around to here. And then work that onto the finger. And do the same with the other side, except going on the other side of the finger. But still making sure that the tendon is rolled over properly. So that's the first piece. And you can see that um, this holds my finger in place so that what happens with this finger a lot for me is, I can't do it with this one now, but it locks like this. So this is keeping it from extending too far so I can't lock it into the double jointed position. Okay, now for the pinky part, um, tear off the part that's going to go around your finger. And pull that off, and carefully put your pinky through that hole. Look down, and let's see. You have to apply it around the base of that knuckle here, because that's what's going to support it up. And then pull off this part of the tape. And because my pinky is rolling inward into my hand, I have to pull the tape so that it goes the opposite direction. I don't know what it would be for you, but so mine has to go, I pull it this way, over, ah, over my wrist a little bit. Um, also while flexing the hand so that you get the right amount of tension, and then leave the last inch and a half or so free so that you're not stretching that part anymore and then just push that down otherwise it'll start like tearing up your skin and stuff I have some a little bit of irritation from the tape but it's getting better because I wasn't really taping it right at first okay so that has my pinky and then this part is going to go over the middle and ring fingers um, you can do whichever one you want first it doesn't really matter uh, let's see, I'll do the ring finger. So, let's see. Oops. I don't want you yet. Okay. It's really easy to mess up the tape and then have to start all over again, so <laughs> just be really careful when putting it on. So do the same thing like you did with the pinky and pull it down around that knuckle. And then the same thing with the ring, I mean the middle finger. Or your second finger. And pull that around the knuckle. Ah. See, I feel like I made these a little bit too thin when I cut it. So you can see how those are really thin around here. And it's better to have them a little thicker so that they have something more to stick to, so that they're more likely to stay on the whole day. And then you pull the rest of the tape backing off. And let's see if I can show you this part correctly. All right, and now I'm going to pull this in the same kind of direction as I did the pinky one. So it's going to go over my wrist. Um, you do the same thing where you leave the last bit of it, you bend your wrist, and then you do the last bit of it not taut, and then you just push that down here. So that's how it looks completed. Why can't I do backwards? Um, 
the Mueller tape comes in a bunch of different colors. I have the beige one so that hopefully people can't see it. And I, I played with it all summer and people said they couldn't see it from the stage, which is good. So you can see how this keeps my ring finger um, supported and up and the knuckles not dropping down. And it also is working on my pinky. I think I might have to do some more stuff with the pinky in the future because I even that's the one that's super, super, super double jointed and I want to work on strengthening it more even though I've done a lot over the years. So that's that. Um, uh, exercises. Um, I don't know how to show exactly what I do. I mean, honestly, just like making a fist and making sure that this is rolling over to the right side helps a lot. I found that one of the things I did that was bad for my hand was I was babying it and not doing anything, which I think ended up actually making a lot of my extensor tendons really weak. Um, so I try to use it more. You can use like a squeezy ball thing. Let's see if I this thing, if not used properly, can hurt your hands. But you know, just kind of like squeezing a ball and watching what your knuckles are doing. <clears throat> this thing is actually supposed to be for working the extensor tendons. Like you put your fingers in there and then do this, but this is really, really heavy duty, and I actually kind of hurt my hand doing this once, like last year. Um, <clears throat> but the exercises are basically similar to what this would be, just with kind of like a rubber band. Um, oh, I also do stuff with <clears throat> a clothespin, like making... <clears throat> making sure that you're pressing down mostly from the top finger and not pressing up with the thumb. And then you can do different, you know, strengths depending on what part of the clothespin you're holding. But I do that kind of with all my fingers, which is helpful for strengthening back here. Um, and where's my rubber band? Um, that's weird. Oh, there it is. So Dr. Miller tried to kind of do this rubber band thing where he um, tied two together so that you can kind of put your fingers through the loops of one and then uh, support with the other part and then just work on extending the fingers outward like this. Um, so there's that. There's also working the fingers um, this way, which you can put, you know, the rubber band around here and then work to extend them that way. Or you can do them around all four, so you do this. Um, and then, let's see, you can do any of the fingers to extend. Oh, then also bringing them in, you know, like, so working on bringing the fingers in this way. Um, but while doing it, the thing that's hard for me is making sure that my knuckle is rolled over correctly while I'm doing that. Um, there's also Sarah Putty. Oh, where's that bag? This is the this is what the box looks like that the tape comes in if you want to look for that. Um, there's also rock tape. Um, KT tape I don't really like and Dr. Miller was saying like it doesn't work as well, like it doesn't stick as well. Um, I also have that from the past but um, I haven't been using it. It looks like this. This is the one you'll be able to find this really easily in a lot of places. It's sold like everywhere. But it doesn't work well. No, this is the Theraputty stuff. Uh, come out. I know. So 
this also comes in different um, strengths. I got this from a I got this from a hand doctor, so I'm not sure where you buy this in general, but this stuff is good also for just like squeezing and you can work on um you can work on using a small piece and uh you can do this um squeezing together like this in different knuckles you know from out here to in here and so if you can actually also do that with this which i've done before when i didn't have the puttings i would do like um practicing like that or here you just gotta literally watch what your fingers and knuckles are doing because you can you can hurt yourself doing any of this stuff which I, I did do in the past before I was working with Dr. Miller and that was what made me afraid to do anything with my hands because I felt like everything I did hurt me but it's just a matter of knowing what you're doing and doing it the right way um, so there's the therapeutic, how to put on the tape, what the tape looks like, some exercises, rubber band, clothespin. Um, yeah, and that spot that I was talking about where I was getting the knots was right here. So like in this part of my arm, I would get knots in here. The forearm and upper arm. An elbow. So I was saying, like below the elbow and the forearm was right here, because this is where all of your extensor tendons go into there. So if your extensor tendons aren't working right and are weak, all of these muscles around here are going to overcompensate for that because they're not working right. So that's what was happening to me. Um, I hope that explains enough. You can let me know, and you should see Himiko. Come here. It was his birthday two days ago. Like, no, don't bother me. Say hi to Sam. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully I'll see you soon. It'd be awesome if you came to see Dr. Miller. Um, might be able to put you up here or something. I'm not sure. But um, we can figure it out. And it'd be good to see you. So, yeah. Um, I'll try to make another video of something else if you want any advice on that later. But, bye.